This is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. they're very happy to see you. Wow. This is a surprise. They didn't know you were here. And oh. See, this is what you you miss. You Why? haven't been here in years. I didn't realize it was 2016. I didn't even have a baby there. I, no, you didn't have a husband or a baby. Ah. Yeah, now you have a husband and a baby. Yeah. Yeah. And how old is that baby? She's, um, she's four. Yeah, she's four. She's so big now, and she's just the best. She looks like she's... Oh. Yeah. Look Aww. at that precious. Wait, before we talk about her, because I have questions about her, but uh, your husband posted your first dance uh, for your wedding. How long did you work on this choreography? Because mm. yeah, you look know at what? the two of them. I love um, choreographed dances. I think, honestly, if I could have made it big in something, it would have been dancing. Yeah, but alas, I had to try tennis, but you yeah. know. Well, that yeah. worked out. It worked out, yeah. you know, but I, yeah, I could have done something in dancing. I, it took us like a few weeks. I was actually pregnant the whole time we had rehearsals. Yeah, I was really serious about this. So we had rehearsals for months, but I was always pregnant. So they, my husband actually lifts me a few times. We have a few lifts. Right. Um, and, you know, I was pregnant and, you know, we're like, okay, we'll do the lifts when the baby's out, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, so you didn't um, really practice the lifts? We lifts. didn't practice the lifts until yeah. Olympia was out. Did was he, so was heavy. he on board the whole time? Does he like to dance or did you force you him into what? this? You know what? So, you know, we used, I have a dance team. This is really random, right? I know. Yeah, you know this. I saw this. the documentary. Yeah, so it's called, the, we, we used to call ourselves the Kryptonians. Uh, we haven't danced together for years, but it was so funny because when we were doing this choreography, it was right when I was in the heart of my dance team. We used to always, like, get together and, like, put on these crazy shows and... Yeah, I, it's a second life, you know, that I have that it's just weird. I'm weird. No, you're not weird. Yeah, I don't know how I have time on my hands for that. People love to dance, but you yeah. just take it to another level where you choreograph I have to always things. take it to another level. Why can't I just dance like everybody else? Why be does it have to be a competition? Because you're Serena Williams. Yeah, okay. That's why. That's a good answer. <laughs> um, okay, so here's what I want to ask. First of all, let's show the pictures, because you and your daughter, you dress her, I assume, or you're dressing like her. Either you buy her clothes first, and then you dress like her, <laughs> or she dresses like you. But look at the outfits. Oh, Listen, that's my little twin. I love her so much. We love <laughs> Look at that face. Um, and how we, is she at tennis? Um, <laughs> are you asking as a mom or as like no, that, that athlete, Serena lady? No, just as an objective person. I don't know if I can be objective because I look at her and I'm like, oh, that's good. So she'll, we'll, my husband will post this amazing video of her in the backhand and I'm like, that was a good shot, but that's not her consistent backhand. And I'm like, well, right. you know, I'm like, if she wants to play tennis, we gotta. Yeah. But I don't push her. I don't push her because I'm like, she's like four. That at all. Like, yeah, which that's... makes my dad like so amazing because I couldn't, uh, I couldn't have done that. But right. Like, yeah. So, yeah, she's all right. I yeah. Would, I would say she needs. So I've seen four-year-olds that might take her out. So we have to get her. So serious. she's not. But that's not her ambition right now. Her ambition is playing princess games. Okay. Yeah, she loves princess games, and the more we can play anything with princesses, that's her whole life. That's fine. That's, she's yeah. four years. Uh, so you enrolled her in tennis classes with a coach, but yeah. you did not tell the coach that <laughs> you were the mother of that child. <laughs> that is just cruel. <laughs> so this is such a funny story, because I didn't... I, you know what, I'm, I don't have the patience to teach tennis. Like, I'm, mm -hmm. I, it's so weird, but I don't really like to play with people who don't know how to play tennis well. Right. So it drives me nuts. Yeah. So, um, so I was like, I can't, I don't have the patience for this. So I signed her up for a class, you know, the, a private, you know, a private teacher. And so she came in, I was like, I didn't want to tell her. But I was like, on my, you know, Instagram, I was like, oh, so I have a class for Olympia and blah, blah, blah. And the lady followed me. So she was like, it, it could be me. I could be that. So she didn't know it was going to be her, but she was oh. like, I must be in the running of that. Yeah. So, so she had a feeling. She didn't just she had show up and yeah. see it's, it's Serena's daughter. Yeah. Yeah. She, she kind of had a feeling about yeah. it. Yeah. But what a, let's talk about the movie. The, the, mm. What a beautiful mm. oh. story to be told, finally. And I'm so yes. glad that you, it, it, that it's out there for people to see how hard y'all worked, how, what, what your entire yeah. life was mm -hmm. to get to this place, because you are an incredible athlete, clearly, but, but how much work went into that? It takes a lot of work, and that's what I really loved about the movie was the fact that you know so much about us just as players and this holding up championships and holding up trophies, but there's so much more that goes into that. It's, 
every day. It's hard work. It's so much dedication from the, my parents, both my mom and my dad. Right. And it, um, the film was amazing. It was so cool to see the whole process come together. It took a really long time. It got shut down for COVID. And, um, but it was, I was so proud of everyone and how everything came together. And um, yeah, it was a wonderful moment. And th I think the film will live on for a really long time. For sure it will. It was a beautiful film and, and you should be proud of it because I was yeah. asking you backstage if it took a long time to get that made because you'd think that that is a story that people would want to know, right. you know, how, how ca you came to be, you and Venus. Yeah. Um, so can we just talk about the, the Beyonce's performance on the courts um, in Compton, wasn't that amazing? on the courts yeah. that you grew yeah. up playing on. Like, what kind of emotional feeling <sighs> is that to watch that happen on the courts in Compton? Beyonce is a genius. Yes. I think she is obviously the most amazing person and performer ever. And I just loved her idea around it. Like, to have that idea to come up and to perform where we grew up was really just, because I went back, I was like, can I even begin to fathom having such a superstar come and do that at those courts? I, it would have just made me want to go back to practice every single day, even more so. And so she doesn't even understand the people that she's inspired and how she she made us feel on a level that I can't even describe really in words. But also it just goes beyond that because she provided so, ins so much inspiration, probably without even knowing, um, to so many little kids in Compton. And it was so great. So there was, it was such a wonderful performance. Right. And now yeah. you are that inspiration to so many kids in Compton and, and all over the world. I mean, thank you. Thank you. Know? Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We have to take a break. More with Serena after this. We are back with the incredible Serena Williams. And you're a businesswoman. In, you have so many things to, uh, going on. And now you have a new Serena Ventures. What, tell everybody what that is. Yeah, so Serena Ventures, I started um, about, I started investing about nine years ago. And I loved what I just loved doing it. And I thought, wow, this is really cool. I had to do something one day. One day I'm going to retire and I have to do something. So um, I just fell in love with it. And then a couple years into investing, um, I learned that less than 2% of women got money from VC founders. So when I first heard it, I actually thought it was a misquote. And so um, I, I talked to someone. I was like, is this real? Is this true? And it was true. And I couldn't, my mind really couldn't fathom that billions and billions of dollars, women were only getting less than 2% of this. And so I'm talking hundreds of billions of dollars. Less than 2%. So I said, um, the only way to change that, because I was an angel investor, so I was just write small checks in lots of different companies. I said, the only way to change that is to be the person writing the biggest checks in the room. And the only way to do that is to have a VC fund, raise money, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, so I worked backwards, because you know King Richard. I like to plan. My dad taught me, got a plan. So I planned. And then for four years, I built a track record. We invested in like 70 companies. And then we started our fund. And we raised $111 million, And we invest in some amazing companies. Um, yeah, so it's been a company, Calico, Wondermine, just to name a few. We have like 50. Is it all women-owned companies? Or so, no. So it's not. For me, I be really believe in diversity is really um, p everyone. You have to really give everyone an opportunity. And then you get the best companies. You get the best founders. We invest in founders. So because of the way I built my team, my team is we, we just hired our first guy, but our team before was all women. Um, but because of that, we, our portfolio is about 68% women mm -hmm. as of now, um, all women companies. And then if you put it all together, I think I want to say 79% women and people of color are all in our companies. So usually, usually the number is like, you know, 10%, you know, so we're way, way up there. But we really just want to invest in the founder. If you have a great yeah. product, you have a great company, that's what we want to invest in, and that's what we, we like to do. You're sounding good to me. All right, before, uh, this is your last time here, so before we go, we're going to do the, uh, the random question <laughs> generator 5,000. Yes. Oh, it's a 3,000. <laughs> we're using 3,000 today? It's a 3,000. All right, so this is the 3, uh, random generator okay. question 3,000, and this, this is, uh, what are we going to do with this expensive piece of equipment after the show? Sell it. Sm Smithsonian. Okay, all right, here we go. I, I hit it, and a random question will appear. All right. And then you will answer it. 
Who was your celebrity oh, crush growing up? Interesting. You know, I used to make out with a poster because I put a poster on my wall. Mm -hmm. Venus <laughs> insists that it's weird, but I'm like, everyone did that. Um, okay, so and I it was. You remember that 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 it wasn't a band, the uh, rap group Criss Cross. Sure. Yeah, but they wore I was, their pants back. Yeah, with, I was into on. one of them. Well, you don't Chris know which one. Oh, yeah. Chris Smith, and I yeah. used to make out with him yeah. on my wall. I was a teenager. That's cute, yeah. Yeah. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump, jump. jump. Yep. Yeah. All right, and let's him. see again. <laughs> Best thing about being friends with Beyonce is? Um, dance lessons, although I haven't gotten them yet, but oh, yeah. Well, so. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a hopeful answer. Yeah, it is. It didn't have to be like a real answer. It could no, be a hopeful answer, that's right? That's a good, then now she knows you want that. Yeah. Maybe you just had to vocalize it. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> What's the most frustrating thing about playing your oh. sister in a match? Um, I, for me, the most frustrating thing is, it's like playing myself. And I'm pretty tough, and she's pretty tough. Yeah. So uh, she gets every ball back. Every time I hit like a great serve, she's like, I'm like, <sighs> Like, that's an ace against anybody else, you right. know? And she gets it back, and I'm like, okay, another shot, so, yeah. Yeah, I see your frustration <laughs> on the court when you're playing. Oh, I was yeah. lucky enough to be at Wimbledon when you won that year, mm -hmm. and it was quite, it was incredible. It yeah. was, it's just to see you play to be that close to you. It's different, right? It's oh, different. my God. It's in the, person. It's the like, power that yeah. you hit a ball with is just <laughs> insane. Are you, but, do you still play a lot? Yeah, I play all the time. Yeah. I haven't played recently, but yeah. yeah. I'm actually gonna get back on the court on a uh, couple of days, so yeah. Do you, um, yeah. good. Um, you play pickleball? I love pickleball. Is it fun? I love pickleball. Yeah, and I love that there, it's everywhere now. I know, it's very yeah. popular. I yeah. love it. It could be a second career of mine, too. It should be. There are yeah. professional pickleball players. I, I know. The money I, isn't as good. True. I'm a state of tennis Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> I was wondering, because some people who play tennis don't like to play pickleball, because it's a no, whole different thing. No, I love thing. it. It's I a lo lot less running. Like, those people are I know. too serious. I know. But I bet you slam <laughs> that pickleball. Ooh, yeah. All right. Hey, to find out more about Serena Ventures, head to our website. We'll be right back.